Hello guys, welcome back to my channel and uh, today we are back with another exciting tutorial. So in this tutorial we are going to focus on Argo CD. So this tutorial will be completely for beginners where you will be able to understand uh, how an Argo CD works and how to set up that in a Kubernetes. Okay, so what we are going to see in this tutorial is like how you can deploy Argo CD in a Kubernetes cluster to use as part of your overall application desired state and how to achieve that okay so we'll talk about what is argo cd first so if for those who don't know what is argo cd it's a declarative or gitops continuous delivery tool for kubernetes so this is specifically for kubernetes where the argo cds follows this gitops pattern for using github repository as the source of truth for desired application states. So for, for example, you have a Git repository and your application is defined in the Git repository and you will have your different YAML files for your Kubernetes uh, cluster and you will have a desired state uh, you know, configuration in this. So what uh, the Argo CD does is it will uh, uh, completely look for what is your current state and what is your desired state. So it will be always uh, continuously monitoring your application in this GitHub repository. And whenever you make changes, it will keep checking your current and live state. And it will try to uh, transfer your current state in, you know, to your desired state in your Kubernetes as specified in your GitHub repo. So Argo CD automates the deployment of your desired application state in the specific target environment. So it's like a continuous check from your GitHub repository and it will apply automatically into your Kubernetes cluster. So this is how it's a uh, representation and this is take, taken directly from the Argo CD uh, website. So you can see like if, if you merge uh, anything on your GitHub repository uh, in your application, like if you want to change your image, uh, you know, the GitHub uh, webhook, which is connected from the Argo CD to GitHub, it will keep checking your desired and current state and it will automatically update your uh, you know, the environments which are in the Kubernetes, whether it's a dev or staging or different environment, it will keep updating automatically based on your changes which you are making in your GitHub repository. So what we are going to see in this tutorial is like how to install Argo CD on a Kubernetes. Okay, so we will see, you know, how we do this by step by step process. For that, you have to create a name step in our namespace for Argo CD. You install the Argo CD and you create, uh, you know, the service. You already have the service, so you change the service from cluster IP to load balancer, so you can enable port forwarding and you can access your Argo CD website using a web browser. And you know, you can also do it with different ways, but this is the simplest way which I'm going to show you and you will log in with your Argo CD with your initial admin account and I will also show you how to get this password and there are additional steps like how you can set up your application how you integrate that into your GitOps and all those things which will you know we will talk about that also in the later videos but in this tutorial we focus on how to set up Argo CD so you are uh, you know ready to get started on that so whatever I, I was uh, tr trying to tell you, uh, everything is there in your Argo CD uh, website itself. So you can go to this page. I will put it into, into the video description. You can read about what is Argo CD, why Argo CD, why it, it help you for Kubernetes, how it works, and how we you know uh, do the sample of application, how this architecture, which I showed you in the pictures and different features, all those things are here. And I'm not going to touch more. Uh, we are going to see how to set up Argo CD. So there are some requirements requirements like you have you should have the kubernetes cluster or a mini cube so we are going to use a mini cube for this uh, process if you don't know how to set up mini cube just look into my videos on how to set up mini cube and we will see how to set up argo cd all uh, in step by step process and uh, you know, all these uh, steps are documented here i will also put into in one of my uh, github repository to set up how to set up mini cube and how to follow these steps okay so you can all get all these links in the video description so what we are going to do is uh, I have my minikube running here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a Kubernetes namespace for Argo CD. So what you need to do is you need to run kubectl create ns argo cd so that ns means namespace uh, or you can just write namespace and argo cd is the name of space so i run it because i already have it so it says already uh, have it so if you want to see it kubectl get ns you should see what are the namespace so you can see argo cd there is a namespace and i have other namespace as well okay so uh, since i already have it it says uh, it's already there otherwise you know it will be created for you and let's clear the screen 
The next step is to install Argo CD. For that, I use this YAML file from Argo or GitHub repository directly. So you use kubectl Kube apply, and I'm going to specify to install it on the Argo CD namespace. So that's why I have it hyphen n Argo CD. If you don't specify it, it will install into the default Kubernetes namespace. Okay, and you can see the version I'm using stable, and uh, there are other versions like you can specify the version numbers and uh, other you know variants of Argo CD. But I here I uh, will just use this, and if I run it, it should install uh, all the Argo CD specific needed. You know the services, replica set, the deployment, the ports, and everything should be done by this. And you just wait because it has to download different. Uh, uh, images so it may take some time for you to download all these things and to install it for me again it says unchanged because i already have it running because it took uh, some time for to download all the images and install it so i don't want to take all this time for this uh, video so i have already done it so if i go to kubectl get all hyphen n r go so I want to get all the ports, Kubernetes, services, everything running under my Argo CD um, uh, namespace. So I just put kubectl get all and Argo CD. So you can see the pod, uh, the pods, there are different pods running. If you are running uh, from first time, it may take some time. It will show you like creating containers. It's like initializing. So it will take time to download the images. If you don't know what's happening, you can use kubectl logs and just check into the logs for your uh, the pods or just use kubectl describe and just go to the pod and see it will tell you like it's uh, downloading the image. So you just wait for that to be completed, okay? And you can see the services running. So there are different services running and you have the deployments and you have the replica set and also the stateful set. Now uh, you can see I already have this one as a load balancer, but when you once you create it will be like a cluster IP. I I changed this to a load balancer. That's why it's uh, showing as load balancer. And how how did I done that? Just run this command uh, kubectl path and uh, specify your Argo CD service which you want to convert to the load balancer. If you just run it, it will change uh, your uh, the service to load balancer. Again, here is no change because I'm already running it as load balancer. But in your case, it it would have been there in a cluster IP and it will change it to the load balancer. Okay. The next step is once you change the load balancer, you need to do the port forwarding. So I've used uh, kubectl port forward and uh, this is the specific service we need to port forward and this is in the Argo CD namespace and I'm going to open it for all IP and uh, just put the, IP, uh, the port numbers. And if you just run it, it will start the port forwarding and uh, you can uh, go to your browser and you can use your IP address. In my case, the IP address and just run the port number, it will uh, load this page. And there, there will be cases, you know, where it will say that not secure because uh, I'm not using HTTPS. So you just select uh, uh, the, the options the, to use this option like, you know, it's not secure. Just click on that and just continue. So when you log into your IP address, you will get some information like this or uh, and you just click on advance and you keep continuing on it okay and once you get into this screen where you have to put your username and uh, password you put the ad username as admin and for getting the password you go to your uh, the your kubernetes uh, cluster again so uh, you don't close the instance where it's still running because it's just port forwarding. If you stop it, you will not get it. So you open a new inst uh, new uh, terminal and just run this command like kubectl uh, hyphen n argo cd get secret and uh, you have to find this uh, initial secret and just convert into a you know the file uh, the base 64 file and I'm just added a code so that it's formatted into a next line and just copy this uh, from here. And go to your browser and just put this here and just click on sign in so you should have this uh, running uh, there will be also a case where when you run this IP address and port number you don't uh, get your uh, web page coming up because the firewall is blocking your port 80 or 443 what you just need to do is you just run uh, these commands if your uh, firewall is blocking just use the pseudo firewall command uh, you know, for uh, adding this port number 
just run it and you know for in my case it's been already added so you don't uh, it's it's working if it's not there you just run it and also use the 4443 and you just re reload the firewall and to reload just use your pseudo firewall cmd reload okay so as i mentioned i will put all these things into my github repository and uh, i will just give that link into the video description so you just use that uh, step by step just copy and paste it into your uh, kubernetes cluster and it should start working okay so now we have our, our argo cd setup completed and we have our application running now you can install your new app and you can integrate with your github repository you can sync it so it will uh, do all these uh, you know, uh, GitOps uh, workflows so it checks keep checking your uh, um, uh, desired stage and what is your current state and it will update your uh, you know, the components okay uh, but I, I'm not going to show you that in this tutorial so I will do that a separate video for it for this tutorial I wanted to show you how to set up Argo CD so we are done with the deployment of Argo CD into a Kubernetes cluster, whether it can be running on an AWS or it can be running on an Azure or it can be your in-house setup or it can be Minikube. All this uh, process is going to be the same, but you can also do some inquiries or different kind of uh, uh, setup for accessing this uh, Argo CD from your external web uh, browser. Okay, so here I showed you like, the simplest one with the uh, port forwarding, but you, when you are in a production setup, you can use ingress or uh, different kind of proxy setup for uh, you know, port forwarding your uh, Argo CD to your external network. Okay. If you have any questions or if you have any clarification needed for this, just put your comments into, uh, you know, in, put your this into the comment section of this video. I always try to reply as soon as possible. And I hope you like this video and uh, thank you for watching. And if you are new to my channel, click on the subscribe button. Also like my video, share and uh, give your feedback in the comment section. So have a good day, guys.